Hey guys, so I just got back from a ride and I thought I'd do a review of this Apidura top shoe bag. This is the large model. I have two of them. This one's done about seven, probably 7,000 miles. And this one here has probably done less than 100. So I thought I'd do a bit of comparison and then tell you my sort of what I like about them and what I don't like. So as you can see, this one, I mean, you can hardly tell it's got so many miles on it. If I flip it over, there's no like real scratches or tears or anything. Like there's a little bit of wear that you can see on it, especially on the front where it's been rubbing on the bars. You know, you're, you're sort of turning and that sort of rubs on uh, the stem there, on the forks. But besides that, it's in great condition. The zipper still works, no problem. Bit of fading on the zip there, on the logo, it doesn't matter. On the inside, it's a bit dirty, but I mean, what do you expect? I've put this through the wash once or twice. Um, I don't think they recommend it. I think they recommend hand wash, but I didn't find it to be any issue. Um, it's due for another one by the looks. On the inside, they've got a bit of like Velcro stuff that's supposed to hold it together in the middle there and keep it, I guess, keep it from hitting your knees, but it just gets in the way, unless you were just gonna put like little snacks and stuff in there. Um, it, you know, it's in the way for your phone and stuff like that, so I just gaffer taped it to the sides there. But yeah, as you can see, the bottom's alright too. Like it's, you can't really tell it's had that much use. You're not yet, maybe a little faded, a little bit, but not too bad. Compared to the, uh, the new one. I'd say there's like a tiny bit of fading, but it's not too much. Um, yeah, this is the new one fitted on the bike here. One thing I would say is like where it mounts, uh, around at the front there. They should drop that down. It should be right at the bottom of where it says it has the logo and this this should be right low because obviously a lot of people like you know doing uh, on road bikes and stuff uh, if they're bike packing and that they're gonna have like lower stems and things like that just like the issue I've had so it's harder to sort of fit it right. You have to kind of cross it over at the front. Not that it was ever an issue but it just doesn't look that good. Now one problem I do have with them is that if you're riding, you want to get your phone out of it or something. Put the stuff in there. Yeah, like you can see the Velcro there, you know. It's just like on this one I've had the same issue. So that's supposed to kind of join like that and I think it's just to hold it together or maybe act as a separator. But yeah, anyway, you just about cut it out, you just don't have it. Not in my experience anyway. But yeah, one problem I do have with it is you know when you when you're riding along you want to be able to zip it up and then back down closed and open I should say without with just with one hand and not too hard when it's empty you know opening especially is not an issue but if this has like a phone in it like I've got a pixel if it has like a you know an iPhone uh, 8 9 10 whatever like a bigger phone or a Samsung or something what I find is this just this just comes down a little too quickly like if the radius on this wasn't quite as sharp it'd be perfect because you go to zip it up your phone always gets caught right about there you know it's just that radius is just a bit too sharp so I would say like you know either make it bigger in general like there's no reason why it can't be bigger or just like have that radius be a bit less sharp right there you can even now kind of see where it's getting stuck a little bit even without anything in there so that's my one one big issue with it. Would I buy it again? I mean, for the price, it's awesome. But the problem is, it's just not big enough. Like, it's hard to find a top tube bag that's big. The biggest one I've find, found is a, it's just a Chinese rip-off bag. It was, you know, eighth the price, and it's not that much bigger. But I would say, like, Apertura, like, why don't you just make them? I mean, they could literally be the, the full length of the top tube, in my opinion. I don't see why it couldn't be. You'd have to, like, design the back ergonomically so it didn't hit your legs. But I can't see that, that being an issue. At the very least, just make it, just fix that zip problem. But yeah, that's my thoughts on it. It's a great little bag, though. I definitely recommend it, especially if you want to spend the money. And it's, the colour's cool, you know, like the dark grey. Doesn't stand out too much. The logo's sick. You know, in general, it's like a great bag. It's really easy to grab the zipper as well, you know. Just like, put your finger in there. So I've definitely put a bit of thought into it. I mean, yellow on the inside's nice, until it gets dirty, but I mean, no matter what you have, it's gonna get dirty eventually. But yeah, my thoughts on it. 
Let me know if you like them in the comments. If you use it, what do you use? Have you found a bigger bag? Because if you have, let me know because I really want one. I mean, you could literally, I guess you could just run two. There's probably no reason you couldn't do that. I'll put it on and I'll show you guys. Hang on a sec. Yeah, so I mean, I suppose you could run it like that. I mean, it looks a bit funky, but you know, when you need that extra storage space, it doesn't really matter. Once you're on the road, it's not something you really think about. It's all about what you can carry and where you can put it. But I think that would work, you know. One, I mean, one issue with that is you'd have to make sure these are tight. Maybe I'll try it out. If there's any interest, I'll give it a go. Try it out on a few hundred miles and see if it works out or not. I also have all the other large Apertura bags in this style. So if there's interest in this video, I'll make some more about the other bags. But yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and leave a comment if you like the bags. Thanks.